At South Africa's largest private rhino breeder, horns are getting cut back. It's a measure designed to deter poachers. But there's a question over what to do with the trimmings. This is the Platinum Rhino Conservation Enterprise, home to nearly 2,000 southern white rhinos, once thought to be extinct. Owner John Hume says they've been keeping the protected species safe for four and a half years, but that he might not be able to go on unless he's allowed to sell horns and live rhinos. If my government helped me do that in order to pay for this project, this project will thrive and get better and better with more and more rhinos. Rhino horn is used in traditional Chinese medicine and is prized as a status symbol in other parts of Asia. That makes poaching a widespread problem. Hundreds of rhinos are killed each year. Hume says cameras and radars have helped keep poachers away from his game park. I'm fearful because I cannot go on doing what I'm doing forever. But he says without export, it costs 5 million rand a month, or around $350,000. I have been battling to export some rhinos to Vietnam for years. And the government just finds a way to block me all the time, instead of helping me. A statement on the Ministry of Environment's website said the international commercial trade of rhino horn remains prohibited. Poaching rose by 50% in the first half of 2021. That's after a decline in 2020, according to South African government figures, partly attributed to lockdowns.